स्टूडेंट टूडे इज माई फर्स्ट इंट्रैक्शन विद यू विद ऑनलाइन क्लासेस नाउ आई विल टीच यू इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स मीन्स ट्वेल्थ क्लास फिजिक्स फर्स्ट चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स ओके हम वी स्टडी अबाउट द फुलाम सो एज वी नो द प्रीवियसली इक्वल एंड सिमिलर नेचर चार्जेस ऑलवेज डिपेंड ईच अदर बट इन केस ऑफ इक्वल एंड डिफरेंट नेचर चार्जेस दे अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर Coulomb described the magnitude of this attraction repulsion force as per Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law basically applied between the two static point charges. Static means their difference should not be variable. Difference should be constant. And point charges means their separation in terms of their size are too much higher. Means there should be longest distance approach. Now. Lightly, now start with the Coulomb's law. As per Coulomb's law, electrostatic force of attraction repulsion between the two charges is directly proportional to product of their charges. Should be remember point charges and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. Due to combining of this, F proportional to Q and Q two upon R square, and there is a constant K, the value of K. K is equal to also one upon four pi f epsilon naught k. F epsilon naught means permittivity of free space having value eight point eight five ten to the minus twelve is a universal constant. And the k is directly constant of medium depend on the intervening medium between the two charges. In case of air and vacuum, it having value one. In case of glass, having six. In case of water, eighty two eighty five soft and hot water. In case of wax or wool, is having value two. For air and vacuum, we know very well. For air and vacuum, K is equal to one. So formula of Coulomb's law also write in this form F equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught Q into two upon R square. So one upon four pi epsilon naught is having value nine to ten to the power nine. After calculating. So Coulomb's law also write in terms of nine to ten to the power nine Q and Q two upon R square. So that is a simple form of Coulomb's law. Now in the next term we study about the Coulomb's law in terms of vector form and coordinate form. Thank you. Now students, next lecture is Coulomb's law in vector form as well as in coordinate form. Now first of all, there are two point charges Q one and Q two. The separation between the Q1 and Q2 as per magnitude are equal, but in terms of sign dates, no, ever in terms of distance, Q1 to Q2 is right as R1 to, but the distance from 1 to 2, and the separation from Q2 to Q1 right as R to 1 means distance from second charge to first charge. First charge Q1 repel by the second charge Q2. F one two force on one due to two same as on second charge Q two repel by the first charge Q one F two one force on two due to one now coordinate form as we know in terms of force vector form having magnitude as well as direction so force of vector form equal to K Q one Q two upon vector means R cap vector R is equal to magnitude and the direction vector R cap. So the direction vector R cap is equal to the vector upon magnitude. Same identity apply in this term. So R cap convert vector R upon magnitude R. That's why R two convert in R three. In terms of these, we write the first force on one due to two. F one two means force on one due to two. Is equal to the K Q one Q two in terms of this R two one R two one Q four so on one due to two so take the distance from two to one that's why we take the R two one R two one but force on two due to one means F two one is equal to K Q one Q two upon R Q or R Q but R four so on two due to one so take the distance from one to two just equal to R one That is a vector form of Coulomb's law. Now the next topic is Coulomb's law 
in terms of coordinate form that is our coordinate axis x y and z now there are two point charges q1 and q2 again their separation from q1 to q2 write as r1 to from q2 to q1 write as r21 force on 1 due to 2 is known as f12 force on 2 due to 1 is known as f21 as we know in mathematical triangle rule sum of the two sides is equal to the third side means r1 plus r12 is equal to r2 again r1 plus r12 equal to r2 same as on r12 what is the value of r12 r2 minus r1 similarly if we take the r2 from r2 plus r21 just equal to r1 again r2 plus r21 equal to r1 so the value of r21 equal to in term of this r1 minus r2 that's r1 r2 is our vector form in terms of i x i j k like this so as we know f12 in vector form k q1 q2 upon r21 cube upon r21 in vector form the value of r21 just take of this so f12 equal to k q1 q2 and the value of r21 r1 minus r2 same as r21 r1 minus r2 that is a coordinate form of force on 1 due to 2 now similarly force on 2 to force on 2 due to 1 in vector form k q1 q2 upon r21 cube or r21 now what is the value of r12 in terms of coordinate r12 equal to r2 minus r1 replace this value here that is the coordinate form f12 and f21 and that is the vector form of f21 and f12 okay